Hi friends, I'm Bruce Wood. I'm here at the Woodshed Gallery in Franklin, Massachusetts with Chris Ocino. And we're featuring her work right now. She's a wonderful watercolorist. And when I was looking at her watercolors, I noticed that she has great control over everything she does. The compositions are really well thought out. And uh, I, I'm not a watercolorist. I don't know how they're made or anything like that. And I really don't care because it's the end result that's really important. And I was hoping that Chris could give you an introduction to her work. And uh, that's what we're here for. So Chris, go ahead. Thank you very much, Bruce. Many of the things that you see in my work weren't in the actual scene. These were things that I invented. For example, in this Newport scene, which is a scene that you can see from the cliff walk in Newport of the Cotting Estate, I added the figures flying kites, which weren't actually there. I think that for the composition they work, but also they help to tell a story, and that's what I love about them. One day a year ago, I was going down to Newport and on the way stopped at a petting zoo in Middletown, Rhode Island and had a wonderful time on a rather cold day taking pictures of all of the animals. I took hundreds of pictures and because it was March, nothing had greened up yet, everything was very brown, but it made for some fun and interesting challenges with color in the painting. I invented some of the color using a lot of magenta in with my brown and golds and I love the, um, the softness uh, of the background. Again, I feel that there's kind of a little intimate story going on here with these two little white goats. I just loved the, um, uh, the mood of that particular painting called Feeding Time. This one is up in Southwest Harbor, which is uh, on Mount Desert Island in Maine, near Acadia. And this is an area where the water goes um, way out at low tide, leaving all of these boats up on the rocky coastline. And I loved the... Um, sunset and how the sun just literally lit up the water there um, and loved the way the light and was reflecting again in all of the uh, wet kind of puddles that were left from the tide. This painting was drawn on site. This is a private peninsula up in Bass Harbor, Maine. And when you draw on site, the one thing that you learn is to edit out. There were two other houses in this scene that I left out, making this home really the focus region of this painting. And I really tried um, to capture this sunny late summer day here. Um, I've used a device of the seagull on the stump to kind of uh, act as a pointer to point you also into the painting. And I've used the color red that you see on the boat and the floats, the little drum, the buoys, all of that with the seagull helps to kind of create a triangle to keep you, uh, your eyes moving around this whole composition. It's basically a composition of blues and greens with little red accents and a little warmth in the color of the uh, grasses uh, on the edge of the shoreline up here in the foreground. Um, there are a lot of trees in here. And again, this tree is another kind of device that kind of um, hugs in the scene. Just the sweep of the tree kind of, and the sweep of this stump kind of leads your eye up in like a long oval um, to really help you um, scan quickly the whole scene at once. These two paintings on this side demonstrate my love for painting skies. This first one is a painting of the Jamestown shoreline from Fort Wetherill. A lot of this is invented. The general shape of the coast here I've kept, uh, but the colors of course are exaggerated and the shoreline in the back is just captured as a silhouette. The title, Ahead of the Storm, I tried to capture in the 
um, sky and the clouds and the way the mist is coming in on the sailboats over here on the left side compared with the boats on the right. This is a painting of Rhode Island Red Roosters. It was inspired um, by a rooster that I saw at Slater Memorial Park in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. I happen to be the gallery director at the Rhode Island Watercolor Society, which is also inside Slater Memorial Park. Took many pictures down at Daggett Farm of the roosters and animals there, and uh, I just loved the different poses um, of this rooster as he, as he walked around. And uh, it's the same rooster in two poses, and I tried to really think about not just the painting of the roosters themselves, but how I composed the white space, the background, or what we refer to as negative space. Just allowing just enough space to come around here and down, and the white as it hits the foot kind of continues your eye up and around. And um, I think that's what I like the most, is that this painting didn't need a background scene. Um, we can kind of fill that in using our own imaginations.